but British writer, producer and director Matthew Vaughan has more experience than most not only in getting his films made, but also getting them distributed so they can actually be seen in cinemas. I aim to make money every time I make a film. I can touch wood when I say this, but I've never lost money on a movie yet. And I'm, you know, crossing fingers and knocking wood because, as people say, it's going to happen eventually, and I'm sure it will. Uh, you know, I started off as a producer and as a financier, so um, I had to become independent because no one would finance the movies. Vaughan produced Guy Ritchie's Lock, Stock and Two Smoking Barrels in 1998, but he faced a chorus of no's when he tried to get someone to release the movie theatrically. After screening Lock, Stock and being told no, no one wants it, and it's going to go straight, back then straight to VHS, we were, it was the best deal we had, and then kick ass the same thing, nobody wanted it, and I got told to go straight to DVD. Each time I then vowed I would retire. The only reason we got distribution on Lock, Stock was before then I'd done a record deal, because we couldn't afford to clear the rights. So then I had to ring up, um, I think it was called Osman, A&M guy, and I said, look, I'm really, really apologetic. I, I, we can't sell it. And he went, that is ridiculous. And I said, yeah, I know. I, I don't know what to say. So he rang up Polygram, because Polygram owned a at the time. Mm -hmm. So the Polygram guys watched it again. and Having already turned it down. Having already turned it down, and through gritted teeth said, we're doing Osman the favour here. We're going to buy it, just for England. So I was sitting there going, OK, well... Beggars can't be choosers, and we, I think we're going to be released on two screens. So then I rang up Trudy Styler, who put money in, and I said, Trudy, do me a favor, can you get Tom Cruise to come to this buyer screening in America? And she went, are you mad? You used stars for the premieres. And I said, no, there's never going to be a premiere of this. And Cruise, to his credit, turned up in this tiny little screening room on the Sony lot, and it was hysterical because you have all these mid-level executives sitting there, and Cruise walked in, and he just saw them all set up and pay attention all getting on their phones and suddenly all these senior executives joined the screening because the cruise was there and and at the end tom I mean, got up in front of everyone and said this is the best movie i've seen in years you guys will be fools not to buy it I had a bidding war because of that and bang we made all our money back and my film career officially started I mean, it came from nearly ending to starting at that point 